Hey guys, how y'all doing? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all those around the world. Welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video featuring Spirit coming at you with Thanophobia, Infectious Fright, Sloppy Butcher, and Nurses Calling. Today we're going to sit down and talk about Sloppy Butcher and why it's so good. It has to be one of the best perks on Spirit, let alone a lot of the killers in the entire game right now. It is one of the most used perks in Dead by Daylight for, for killer content, for killers in general. This perk allows you to do so much let alone for some killers is just ridiculously good let alone spirit super solid just because her power allows her to traverse the map so quickly let alone allows you to be in chase pretty much at all times you know so getting sloppy butcher on these targets with nurses calling gives you so much information so much value your survivors have to heal themselves otherwise you threaten that down that insta down on your second m1 now Again, out of the gate, I get one slug, I get two injured before the first gen comes out. And it's just, you're allowed to put up so much pressure with this build set here. If I get one more here in this area, Infectious Fright will show me like ridiculous amount of value, but it looks like she's out. We're gonna get her hooked up here. That seems like the play to do. On top of that, we're running Thanophobia, which the more survivors you have injured, Thanophobia gets value from. So hook sabotaging is gonna be lowered. Generator uh, speed is gonna be lowered. There's so many things that then Thanophobia does for you, especially when you have survivors that are injured. In which, as a hit and run killer, M1 killer, with somebody who has a ridiculous power, Spirit is very, very good at doing that. Now, with Infectious Fright, it allows you to down a survivor, right? And any survivor that's in that area of the down survivor will scream and give off notifications of where their whereabouts are. You don't get to make it this time, girly. As you can see, right over there. And then on top of that, when Nurse is calling, you can see people healing through walls. You can see people healing no matter where they are, as long as they are within 28 meters of you, which is fantastic, by the way. So it allows you to stop them from healing to get that, you know, slow down, that more progression, all that sort of thing. What's going on here? What y'all doing? I got two people over here, huh? There's one there, one there. Are we both going? Yeah, we're both going for this hook. All right. Dude, I'll take the value here. I don't care about y'all getting hit. Nice. Let's get that injury on you as well. Only one who's not injured here is Bill. Never mind. Good job. Everyone's injured. Get a slugger around the corner as well. Let's see if we can down one here instantly. Window. Nice. So Bill stabbed himself as well. Get her knocked out. Sweet. Infectious value. Nope. Is this Bill here? Yep. There is a boon totem here. So this is a good information for us on behalf of... Considering so far there's one boom totem lit, right? What that would mean is most survivors will come over to that area and try to heal themselves. So you automatically already know where they're going to go 9 out of 10, which is great because you already have that information. On top of Nurse's Calling, giving you value as well and Infectious Fright in this area because it's a small area when you're downing all these survivors. It's just so much value. And again, they've only done one generator through this whole entire time. It's about as much pressure as I've been putting up out here. We have two down survivors here, one injured, one on one healthy. This is not the play to make. Dead heart? Nice job. But what's the point of that? That infectious value here as well. So we know Bill's over here. We have one survivor up. I don't want to spend too much time looking for this totem. It's, it must be back behind that wall. Okay, so either I'm guessing this one had unbreakable. Nope. He came and got her. What a trooper, man. What a trooper. What do we do here? Oh. That is not the play, but uh, you know what? We'll take it. Get you ho hooked up for free. Nice. Okay. And where'd he go? This will be it right here. This is going to be the game. Wow. Immediately. Nice dead hard, bud. Okay. All right. You got a trooper? Where are you going? I'm going to go ahead and assume she has DS, but let's just get out of the way just in case she doesn't. Cool, okay. I mean, it would have been super nice in my favor if she didn't have DS there, but it is what it is. And she gets the res. All right, we'll take it. That was a big oof on my part. I'm guessing she'll be over there to get Bill as well, I'd assume. Nice. But it's okay, because Bill doesn't get to play the game today. And that's a box in front of you, buddy. I don't know where you're going on that note. You better go to the pallet. You better go to the pallet. I don't think she saw it. No one knows of opportunity for you, I guess. Let's go ahead and get you out of the game here. So we get some more pressure going on. Nice. 
Awesome. It's one down. Pick up Bill as well. I hate when survivors do this. They like run at you thinking like you're going to pay attention to them. And I, I might, I mean, get that free love tap off on you as well. Throw you down for a minute, Bill. You can stay select for a while. Sorry, buddy. We were going to hook you, but your friend came over here and decided to be a little bit dumb. We're going to stop this one from healing. This has to be a priority. Bro, she was still behind me, man. I don't know how I missed it, though. I think she kind of predicted it. It is what it is. We need to stop him from healing if we can get over there in time. Otherwise, this would suck. Nice. We got him. Nice dead hard. Hopefully, she go back and pick up Bill. That would be the play here. Nice job. Get him knocked out as well. You need to be hooked up, buddy. Sorry. I mean, I'll take the trade. It is what it is, because we might be able to stop her as well. But it's going to be uh, super, super clutch if we can get over here in time. Nice. Let's go, boys. Oh, Bill. Bill, come here, buddy. What's the play? You got dead hard? You got dead hard? You do. Good job. You got to the hook in time, unfortunately, but we still can trade for this. I think Bill literally has been pretty much on the ground all game. Do you have DS as well? No. No, you don't. Awesome. Hola, Chiquita. Where are we going? Nice. We're really doing this. You have dead heart here? No, you don't. We got him. But I'm pretty sure he's probably going to have DS just by the way he's playing. We, I mean, we got to... Yep. There it goes. Fair enough, buddy. Fair enough. Let's see how he, what he wants to do here. We're going to go back through the same loop. Okay. All right. Give me the pallet. Thanks, bud. So you let one survivor die on hook. I'm assuming we're going to keep doing this. We are going to keep doing this. This guy right here. He's a real sport, guys. I'm trying to tell you. We're going to go back the other way. It's going further away. Yep. All right. He's going to bleed out. Give me the pallet. No. Dude, dead hard? Nice. Man. It's almost like we know what the survivors are going to do nowadays. It's crazy. Hola, Chiquita. Not today. But overall, man, this Sloppy Butcher is just so good, as you guys can see. It just gives you so much value when survivors have to sit there and try to heal themselves because they don't. You threaten that down at all times in the game. It's just one of those ordeals. But overall, this has been Spirit. This has been Paul's Plays. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Come join the Discord. Tell me I suck. It is what it is. I will catch you guys in the very next Spirit video. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys later.